Hi everybody, today I will show you how to edit my account page in WooCommerce. So let's just begin. Alright, so the first thing that you need to do is to install the plugin. So for that, I just click on add new plugin and here you have to search for Cadence. Okay, so we have to install Gutenberg blocks by Cadence blocks by Cadence WP. So we have to install this plugin. So I have already installed and activated this. And after that, what we need to do? We need to go inside the pages and click on all pages. Okay, so from here, I'm going to open up my account page from here. So let's click on view. And I will also click on edit as well. All right, so this is how my account page is looking right now. So we're going to simply customize this. Okay, so for that, let's just go inside edit page. And this is the short code of our my page account. Okay, so now what we need to do, we have to click on add blog. And we have to search for rows okay so you have to click on row layout and now we have to select the layout with the four rows so let's click on it and now you will be able to see our four equal blocks here okay so now let's just click on here now you'll be able to see that we have the list view so i have to drag this above the short course so let's just click on it and drag this so now you can see this we have our row layout before the short code okay so now what i need to do i have to add icon box here so let's click on it and now i have to do the same thing in other block as well okay so let's click on it in four box again okay so now as you can see this we have our icon and we have the title and after that we have our description but i don't want to have any description on our icon box okay so how can we remove this the first thing that you need to do is to click on the icon box and from here you can see the option of style here and let's just click on the text setting here okay so from here you can simply disable the text here okay so let's click on it so let's do the same thing for the other boxes as well okay so now i need to go back to our my account okay so i want to add the orders address account details and logout okay so let's just add the title here so this would be orders so this would be addresses and this would be account details and in the last we're gonna have our logo all right so i think i need to decrease the font size of the title so let's click on it and go inside the style again and we need to adjust the size here so this can be h3 okay so this is look fine so let's do the same thing with the other so let's click on title settings and click on s3 again and in the last we're gonna have the s3 for our logout okay so let's click on it and now you can see this this is looking really great all right okay so now i need to change the icons here so let's click on our icon box now let's go inside the style and here you can see the media settings so we have to click on this and you'll be able to see the icon here so we have to change the icon here so I'm going to write down cart here since we want to add this along with the orders and for the addresses, I'm going to go here with uh, books or something book. Okay. So I'm going to go here with it. So let's click on it. And after that, in the account details, I'm going to add the text here. So I think we can go with it. So let's click on it. And in the last, we're going to go here with the logout. So let's just click on the media settings, search for the logout all right so let's click on it okay so these are the menus that we're going to place here okay so now what we need to do we have to add the link to our icon boxes so how can we do this it's pretty simple you just have to click on here and let's click on orders do the right click copy the link and go back here and we need to place it onto the orders so let's paste the link here and submit the link all right and we're going to do the same thing with the other options as well. So let's just go back into the addresses, copy it from here, and let's just click on the addresses, paste the value, submit the detail. So after that, we have the account details. So let's just do the right click on it and copy the link from it. Let's just go back and we have to click on our account details box, paste the value here, click on submit. And in the last, we have the logout. Okay, so let's just click on the logout, copy the link, and let's just go back 
So let's paste the link here and click on submit. All right. So now you can see this. We have the links on all of our icon boxes. All right. So now let's just click on update. All right. So we have updated our page here. So now what we need to do, we have to click on view page and let's just delete this one. All right. So this is how our menu is looking. So we have the orders, we have the addresses, we have the account details and logouts. Okay. So now if I just click on the orders here, you'll be able to see that we are having our menus along with our detail. So now what we need to do, we have to uh, hide out this menu. Okay. So how can we do this? So for that, we're going to simply put the custom CSS onto our page. So how can we do this? So let's go back into the customize. So for that, you will be able to see the option of additional CSS. So we have to click on this and we have to add our custom CSS here. All right, so this is the code that you have to add in your additional CSS. So you can simply copy and paste this into uh, your website and then you will be able to see that. And right now you can see here that there is no sidebar and we also have the width of our orders into 100%. So if I just change the values here, you can also see the changes are visible here. So if I just change the value of this one too, you can see our sidebar as well. Okay, so let's just uh, change it. And now you can see that we are having no sidebar and the width of our content is on 100%. Okay, so this is how we can hide our sidebar as well. Okay, so let's click on publish this. And now if I just go back, refresh the page, you will be able to see the difference here. So this is how we can edit my account page in the WooCommerce. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe the channel.